Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Inked Reader. Today I am doing the unboxing for the January box for Fairy Loot. I actually inserted at the beginning the moment where I actually open this up and go through the things, but I just wanted to open up again here and run quickly through things and I'm going to insert close-ups. Um, I've tried with my new phone the close-ups, so hopefully the quality is not too bad. So first of all we have the book, but we're going to open it up to the end. And first thing I can see in this, the theme was, I don't even remember, what was the theme of this box? Uh, Monsters Within. So we have the spoiler card. And the first thing I can see is a tea towel, I believe. And I'm going to insert those apps about these. This was inspired by Visa Los Dals. And I've yet to read the book. Now it looks pretty, but I just wish that um, Fairwood cuts off with the tea towels. Personally, it's something that I don't use that much uh, in the sense that I use, like the kitchen is completely different color. So yeah, I, I don't use that much, but it's still pretty. So I don't mind. And then we have the pin of the month. This is from Sai. Sorry, I'm rushing through because I'm editing out. <laughs> So this is from Scythe and again I'm gonna insert a close up and which is a book that I read the first one, liked enough and eventually I will continue on. So yeah, I'm glad pins, I love pins, so pins are always, always, always welcome in this house. And then we have the next trinket dish, which I really like. Um, I think it's a nice addition, something that I can use to put small stuff on or my rings or whether. This is James Herondale. Um from the Moshe Instrument. Again, you've probably been seeing, uh, you've probably been seeing a close-up of these. And yeah, I will, I'm not figure out what to put on it yet, but I will. So that's a nice addition. I don't know how often we will receive them, but I'm not complaining. And then we add actually a puzzle. I love Jigsaw Puzzle. Um, this is from Victoria Schwab, A Savage Song, I believe. It's a book I've not read. I might in the future, I don't know. But I love jigsaw puzzles, so I'm not complaining at all about these. It took me ages to open it up, actually, when I received it. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna do these. Let's let's see how it comes out, and well, it can come out only as these, I guess. But I will probably keep these, do these. I really like this idea of jigsaw puzzles. Then inside here we have well the usual leaflet. I love these. I'm gonna definitely use this for journaling with a letter by the author. In love with this. This probably has to be like the cover of my next <laughs> journal. And then we have the bookmark. This is from the book itself. And the two tarot cards. These are uh, from Red Rising. And these are, I mean, the Red Rising saga. And by Pierce Brown, and these are the Page and the Knight of Pentacles, and they are Cassius and Several from the Red Rising series. I don't know who's Cassius and Several. I've listened to the audiobook of Red Rising, but I cannot say who's who. So let me know in the comments down below. And finally, before we get to the book, I've probably like it's a small thing compared to some of the other things in here, but it's probably my favorite. And this is an aluminium metal bookmark, which was designed by, uh, I don't know, designed by Arts28. And it's inspired by the book that I'm going to show you in a second. And can we appreciate how beautiful this is? I am in love with this. The color palette, just everything. I'm definitely going to use it because I think it's quite sturdy. So, yeah. Also, you have to be careful because you can actually probably cut your hand if you're not careful with this. So the book for this month, I gave you a sneak peek and I'm going to insert close-ups later. It's Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. Usually Fairy Loot had like inside the cover artwork and I would tend to um, basically whenever I book display that on the way. But this time there is no artwork on the inside. How the House Stamming is the main, um, the hardcover, it's cool. So even if there is no dust jacket artwork, 
I'm okay with it. Um, and this is a YA where basically you're following this girl. She is staying with her grandma for the summer period and her cousins. And there is a family secret that has been hinted at in the past why her family were basically saying we are monsters and she never believed them because she is a very law-abiding young girl that's spending her summer staying with her cousin and family and just volunteering to work at a local museum. And one day that something happens and she has to indeed find out that, um, yeah, her family are monsters. She is actually a monster. And there are good guys or bad guys, I guess, depends on the point of view after them. So yeah, sounds very interesting. It sounds like we are following actually the monster, which I'm up for it. I don't know if it's a great character, if it's like a evil character. I have no idea if that's the case in here, but I guess we will find out while I read it. Yeah, the cover is it's, it's pretty. I think, it, speaking of Fairy Loot, this is definitely not the best editions that they could have, but the inside art makes up for it. I'm in love with it and yeah, sounds intriguing. I'll be reading this very soon. So yeah, that's it guys. When I read the book, I'm mean, gonna give you a synopsis and see if you might enjoy it as well. And yeah, finger crossed, I do. Sometimes I hit or miss with YA fantasy, but definitely worth a try. And I'll see you next time guys. Take care of yourself. Ciao.